All right, we're gonna work on the water cool bridge again here. Little uh, tooth. dirt bike is uh, gonna take take it all apart, make it easier for us to cut up and uh, do what we gotta do with it. Meanwhile, we got a little racer over here. Hey, tubes. Special guest. And then uh, once you take his apart, he's, uh, he's gonna start cutting the fins out, these middle fins. There's been a controversy about whether we should leave them or not, but uh, I wanna take them out only because we can. Okay. I don't know why the head's so tight. I don't know. Okay, must put that on. Mm, I don't think so. No, I think, I think, uh, Dirt bike did. You must have been feeling pretty strong that night, huh? <laughs> All right, we're gonna like, we're gonna tear this down. You guys don't have to see that. You've seen us tear it down once already. All right, we'll get back to you. We're making out over here, buddy. Doing pretty good, buddy. We got, uh, got the head off. Got the head off. Gotta take the shroud off. Shroud off. Okay. All right, keep going. Okay. Where are we at now, buddy? Uh, I just took the. Uh, Getting ready to take the, uh, the mag off, and we're going to take our, uh, our flywheel off of here. And uh, mm -hmm. after we get that done, we get the backing plate out of the way. We'll take the uh, take the block off the oil pan there, and yeah. then all you guys do is take the uh, crank and the, the rod out. That's about okay. it. Yeah, flywheel's got to come off first because you got to get your yeah unscrew your uh, yeah, cause, yeah, there's a wire, capacitor and stuff. There's a wire right behind it, so yeah. we got to get to that first. All right, looking good, buddy. Thanks, buddy. All right, where are we at, buddy? Taking the uh, cover off of here. We call that a backing plate in the business. Yep. Holds all the stuff. <laughs> okay. So that's. Oh, it. we gotta take the. You can probably lift that off, right? Yeah, unbolt it, lift it off, turn it upside down. There you go. Watch your sleeves. You got for the dripper. Hmm. Why is it green? Hmm. That's uh, not. It's uh, clean. Yeah. yeah. It's clean green. Probably getting all the algae out of the engine when it started. Oh, nice gasket. Yeah. Okay. Made that. All right, I guess uh, it must take the piston out and everything. That way, when we work on it, weld it and everything, we don't have to worry about getting yeah. slag and whatever inside there. Yep. All right. Keep going, buddy. Okay, buddy. All right, let's see how you doing over here. All right, buddy. I'm pulling out the crank. Pulling on your crank? The crank. Oh. Just, just yank on it. No, there shouldn't be anything holding that. No, you know what? I thought the connecting rod was holding it. Yeah. Huh. A little tap. A little tap, tap, tap. Oh, Sounds like it's hitting something. Something's not right. Yeah. You're hitting something, buddy. Now let's take a look at this. Alright, there's really nothing holding that on. It's just uh, the seal. Hmm. You took the piston out, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's put it in the vice, and we'll uh, try and take some. <laughs> we'll try and take some uh, fins off of that thing. All right. I think I think my battery's running low. I gotta get another battery anyway. Right, swap it out, buddy. All right. You know, I think what he's doing is just he's weakening them. Then they're gonna snap them with the with the vice grips. We want to save the top one and the bottom one. Whoa! Huh? That worked. That, that worked pretty work, good. That worked well, actually. Yeah. Cast iron is pretty brittle, so they, these guys should be able to get most of that out of there. Let me see that, buddy. There's a piece somewhere. Very nice. All right, we're gonna uh, hack this up a little bit more. We're actually deciding amongst ourselves which would be cooler if you left the fins or took them off. So a couple of you physics and scientists and what do, what else would you call them? Engineers. <laughs> I'm an engineer. Yeah. Anybody, uh, what do you think? If we left the fins on, would it be cooler? We would take advice from an architect. Or, or wouldn't it make any difference? We're going to take them out anyway. By cooler, we mean temperature-wise. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah not, it's not it's going to cool. be cool regardless. Cool yeah. All right, keep going. <laughs> keep going, guys. All right. Yeah, I want to keep them on. Them guys want to I want to take them off. They want to keep them on. So uh, remember, remember what your response is. I'm going to hold the delete button. This way, and get close to it, so we can get this one. Thank you.
go over here and see how the guys made out. Oh, they did pretty good. Yeah, it's not that they're tough to get off, they're just tough to get to. They left the, the easy ones for me in the back here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll do that. These guys got to go home now, but uh, I'll be working on this myself tomorrow, and then uh, I'll make sure I'll pick up the camera. All right. You say enough for today? Yeah, enough for this. All right. Say goodbye. All right, Tubes. See you, Say tubes. goodbye to the race today. We might not see him for a yeah, while. I'll be back. Uh, I heard that before. Yeah. All right. Enough for this. Oh, wait. Somebody else here. You got some fans too, buddy. <laughs> All right. Say goodbye to him. See you later. All right. Enough of this. All right. This is the next day. Them guys went home last night and they actually stayed pretty late. Usually they, they leave about 7 30, 8 o'clock. They, they stayed all the way till 9, right? which surprised me because the uh, little racer had the little one, you know. She has to go to, go to school tomorrow. But anyway, uh, they left me. Uh, they, got, they, they, they got quite a bit done. And they got pretty close, right up onto that uh, cylinder wall. But the back half is. Uh, let me put a light on for you here. Yeah. The back half I have to uh, chip at myself so and instead of showing you guys me just sawing away at this I'm gonna I'm gonna hack at it for a while and then uh, maybe we'll we'll show you a little bit of it and then uh, keep hacking just show you a little bit of progress all right all right I got one side done and I'm satisfied with that I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it perfectly smooth and everything it's not like it's uh, gonna be seen or anything but uh, it's not too bad. I mean, just uh, with a bunch of array of cutting tools here. Got a cutoff wheel, a, a grinder, a small cutoff wheel, a little uh, air hacksaw, and a die grinder, and even a sawzall down there. Uh, they're coming out pretty good, so we're happy with the results. Now right, let's continue on. All right, I got that cleaned up pretty well. Let me put the light on here. Oop, it was on. Yeah, I got it cleaned up pretty well. Got rid of most of the fins. Let me turn around here, try and turn around one hand. Sorry about that. I got it. even got it in between the valves and stuff. I'm going to leave these two little bars here because they were there. I think that might help to support the exhaust, so I'm not going to take them out. No need to. There's going to be plenty of flow around this anyway, so that's where we're at. I'm happy with the way it turned out. What I'm gonna do now, turn this on the side. Well, get right here, here we go. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut this big mass of stuff off here because all of this was for uh, I guess kickstarters and stuff like that. It's it's just stuff we don't need. And even down here that you drill at and have some kind of screw in there or something, but they're just blanks. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut this on an angle here, so you still have a little support for the crankshaft. And then uh, maybe clean this up, get rid of this big knob and stuff. Alright, I'm going to do that. Yeah, it took me, uh, I guess, uh, an hour or two to clean that little bit up, so we're happy though. Alright, let me uh, clean this up here. Alright, it's the next day. I had this... Uh, <clears throat> Sitting in some Obama gas overnight. Cleaned up real nice. I realized I looked at I looked at some of the, the footage I took and I realized I was uh, I was filming over here a lot. So uh, you know sometimes that's what you do when you're working on stuff. You're looking at you're looking at the object and not through the screen. So I gotta apologize for that. But uh, here it is. Like I say, I left these two little supports here because that supports you know the, the exhaust you know and who knows you know they might have done that for a reason so I'm gonna leave them too but this there's still gonna be plenty of room for uh, water to get through there so all right <clears throat> I'm gonna bring it in and uh, I'm gonna clean this up a little try and clean it up a little bit cut this off and uh, in this so all right let's go uh, let's go do that all right I brought you out here so maybe you can see a little better. Alright, I ground all that stuff off. It actually uh, came out pretty nice. And I made a little uh, loop around here, around the cam. I gotta, I gotta keep that. That holds our cam in place. But got rid of it. They had little tabs down here, I guess, just for casting. And one up here. And then a 
sort of a fin up there. And then uh, I just left this one, like I say, for a little bit of support. And uh, I ground off some of the some of our little tabs that uh, are on this thing. So it's uh, it's pretty cleaned up. I'm pretty happy with it. All right. What we're gonna do next is uh, gotta gotta find some sheet metal to go around the chamber here. This uh, this whole thing's gonna get encased, and this is what I came up with. I found this uh, piece of brass or bronze. I don't know what the hell it is. Looks like an old kick plate to a door. Oh look, there's Road King. Let me turn it over so you can see him. But uh, it's definitely uh, not magnetic, so I don't know what it is, but. Uh, if I use that, it would only be to, to prevent rust. You know, this other stuff here is going to rust. But uh, you guys are saying use this one and everything probably because you think it's going to look good, all shiny and stuff. It's all going to get painted and all kinds of body work because when I braze that on there, it's going to warp and uh, twist and every other goddamn thing. So uh, it's uh, probably just wasting a good piece of uh, brass or bronze, whatever it is. So. Uh, I think what I might go with, this This would be easy to work with, this is 16 gauge, but you see, probably wouldn't last, it would probably outlast me, but, you know, wouldn't last, this one, I think, this is, I think this is what I'm going to go with, this is 14, it's a little stiffer, it's going to be a little tougher to work with, but, uh, I think that's the ticket, alright, I guess that's it, I'm going to call this a video, and, uh, don't forget to check out our Patreon page here if you guys want to help us out. I'll, probably, I'll leave a link in the description and probably a little button or tab at the end of the video. Plus, uh, there are a few videos over there that uh, didn't didn't get on to YouTube. You might be interested in them. So, all right, enough of this.